Hello everybody and welcome back to M and J Games. Today we are doing another Planet Coaster Park Tour. My name is Michael and today the park that we are looking at is called Fun Ticket by Vin Cincinnati by Vin Cincinnati, but it's not spelled like Cincinnati. It's spelled V I N C I N A T I. So the details about this park or the description says this is my first realistic park. Enjoy this amusement park full of surprises, new objects created by me to include in your parks. Visit the 5D cinema slash simulator. Get prizes at the gaming stands. Play um, play all the arcade games and discover the fearsome Cobra. Enjoy and rate um, and rate up. Thanks. So first off, first impression is you know, it's only 78%. Um, there's not a ton of space being taken up, but I can already tell just by looking at some of this just how custom some of this stuff is. And a lot of custom pieces take up a lot more of that meter quickly. So this looks to be very um, realistic and detailed and, um, you know, maybe some more trees kind of in this area and stuff, but we'll get to that. But overall, it looks good. Um, I like the ticketing areas. Um, you yeah, you got your information stands. You got the gates right here. Um... Yeah, I don't know if there was supposed to be a double gate there or what, but you got the gate, you got toilets, looks nice. I like that building the toilets, you kind of put little um, little windows up top, that's nice. And then this entrance, nice. So once again, they always seem to just go in one single entrance, I wonder why that is. Um, uh oh, do we have two that are going? Nope, they got pushed to that entrance. Yes, they always seem to go the same entrance, I don't understand it. Um, and you gotta love when there's just a guy just by himself just running. Pretty great. But oh, I like this in the middle here. Um, I like what you did with um, your pathing. Now one thing I do want to point out real quick. I'm sure a lot of you know how to do this, but I just want to show you real quick. Um, so something you can do is if you want to do different style ceiling than what you have, um, you can do a flat ceiling. And the one I like doing with this is the Victorian roof. Oh, that's haunted house roof. Oops. Um, where is the the Victorian came on the? There we go. Um, the World's Fair expansion plaque, I believe. Um, so then, if you put this down, you can color it, and you can basically sink any ceiling into into the floor. So then it gives you like a different texture and so forth. Now there's yeah. So, I mean, that's very similar to that texture, right? Um, but then you can recolor it, so you can color it any color you want. You can do reddish, um, a little bit darker red, like whatever you want to do, right? And so that's just one option you can have to create different style, um, different style pathing that's different than just the basic options that are given to you there, is use roof as part of that. Now, um, I like this. Okay, you got a little shop. Let's see if there's, okay. So I wonder how you made all these these items because that's really cool. So you got okay. So we got some some. Oh, sorry, that's my fault. Okay, these are really nice, really cool. I like this. This is one of the first um, parks I've been in that I've seen like an actual store on the console version. You know, on the PC version, they've got Theme Maker's Toolkit. And it's easier to make this stuff. So I wonder. Um, you know, maybe I just don't understand know all the items that come in the game but um, it's really cool how you did a lot of this really cool so I'll, I definitely like that all right so let's let's walk down the rest of this little main street Oop, sorry so it looks like we got a restaurant up here is what this looks like yeah it looks like it's almost trying to be a McDonald's or something all right so we got a couple of restrooms yeah and so one thing here um, with a lot of the people walking through the walls I wish they kind of just figured, hey, walls you can't walk through on places like this. But if you have this all as a path, what you could do is um, you could find, let's see, no, it's going to be down here. Pathing extras. And you can take this, and then you can switch cameras. Yeah, so what we can do is we can... We can then sink this into the wall, and now once I place it, 
it will prevent people from walking that way. Let me go back to, the, to where we're at so we can see. So now people aren't walking through that wall because you've got that um, that barrier there. Although I don't know where that person just went. But you see, they were going to try to walk through it, and now they're going around. So by placing barriers, because I know it's not, it's, I feel like anything that's in the pathway like that, they shouldn't be able to walk through. But now the problem is that might glitch a little bit because it looks like they're trying to just walk directly this way. So maybe a suggestion I would have would be to get rid of this little portion right here and just kind of move it over a section. But yeah, I mean, I had an area like that in one of my parks where it just really glitched and it was kind of frustrating to try to get that figured out. But man, this arcade's awesome, or this area, this food court. Really nice jobs, really nice. Um, yeah, so let's go back around here where we were at. So it looks like you got another coffee shop. So it looks like everything in this park, custom done, a lot of pieces, little information shop. Yeah, I saw somebody else do this too where they start putting these kind of on the walls or something representing menus, which is nice. Um, you got a nice, nice area here. All right, so let's go start at the back of the park and then work our way up. So, arcade, don't want to miss this. So we got the arcade, basketball, speed race. This is nice, very nice. So you got the ice cream shop. We got the uh, burritos. Oh, this is a nice little seating area. Definitely like that. Alright, so. Nice how the queue and station match. Okay, so this looks like a, one of those mock rides. Um, I forget the actual name of it, whatever the spin coaster is called. Um, by the way, can we all say that the chain link fence that was added on the last DLC is just, it's about time, right? That should be something that was given in the base game. So I think we can all agree on that. So the spinning on that was kind of crazy, so um, let's see if we can ride it on the... If they do front bumper, does it spin? Because I'll be honest, I haven't really spent much time working with this type of coaster, so I don't know if when you're designing it, if you can kind of choose when it spins or different things, or if it just kind of does that on its own. Um, but I think the layout was pretty good. It just seemed to have a lot of... Um, a lot of... quick spins, which... In real life, could be kind of, you know, could be kind of tough to, to not get sick on. But let's see. So I'm gonna be interested to see if this spins with it, or if you just can watch it normally. Because that's what I want to see: is watching the ride normally. All right, cool. So it doesn't. Looks like it doesn't spin. So I think the reason why I maybe spun a little bit more was there are a couple parts like right here, you know, that's a fairly, fairly big hill for all of a sudden not having, like it really quickly went to fairly uphill and turn. So maybe it's just kind of some quick turns that kind of got it that way, but you, you're trying to keep it confined in a space. So I think you did a good job with that. Um, you know, maybe banking stuff a little bit differently, but overall a good ride, maybe just work a little bit to try to get it not so... Um, quick with its spins. I really like this roof right here. Um, you know, a lot of custom roofs and stuff, so really nice, really, really detailed. 
Oh, that's cool. That would be cool to, like, have put some letters up there. Oh, you got it right here. Nitro. Okay. So, I wonder with this... Okay, yeah. So, you did individual pieces. I wish, kind of like with... You know, there are some things I wish we had the ability with ThingMaker's Toolkit. Like, just to have basic letters, right? Um, to where we didn't have to customize them with pieces. But, oh, I really like what you did here. Taking that cable, electric cable and stuff. Um, okay, yeah. Looks really good. In the, in the glass. Really good job with your theming. This is a really nice park. Um, I like this little bathroom area. It's basic. I like this uh, little... Um, the wall trim that you put on there I think that adds a nice touch because I was almost thinking no you did multiple different types of pieces but no you just added the trim I like this little area here that's nice and you just added a beam there very nice very well done so doomed lights looks like we've got a little backstage area here okay photo ride that's nice we got a little backstage on this part um, not quite a transfer track, but we do have a backstage, sorry, on this ride. This is nice. I love this queue. Like, that's really nice, that all glass. Um, really nice. Alright, so let's go and let's ride this ride. Oh, it's a wing coaster, okay. Oh man, it's shut down. So, you know what? We will come back to this one at the end. So, potentially saving the best for last. Okay, I so see you've got a little backstage area here. Okay. Nice. Now, one thing you can do on here, and I don't, I don't, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm showing you guys a couple things real quick because you know I feel like when you learn tricks from somebody, you just kind of want to show them to other people to kind of help out. So one thing you can do for having a little bit of backstage equipment and stuff. And now we got some more equipment with the um the DLC that most recently came out. Um. So what you could do is you could take. Um, you could take this this piece right here and I would make it a gray so gray something like that right um, and then I'm just going to shift it up a little bit so this is going to be like my box because I can see with some of the things you did over there you tried to make like a cable box um, so I'm going to go here and now with the TVs uh, this one right here so now if we take this and we just sink it in it's kind of hard to see when I see okay it's still sticking out a little too much but it's kind of hard to see with those arrows and stuff um, let's see is that better I'm still sticking out well basically once we put this in all the way it's gonna look like it's a little door handle I guess man I'm sorry I'm <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to do it too much but I guess I've got to at least move it a little bit there we go still it's not moving that's weird um, Oh, you know what I'm doing? I just realized this. I'm duplicating it. That is not what I need to be doing. I'm so sorry. Forgive me for my mistake there. All right. So, no wonder I was like, this is crazy. Okay, there we go. So, now you've got what looks like what could be a cable box. And then you can take your, um, like, for example, if you have um, those air ducts and stuff. Um, not necessarily air ducts, but... Um, let's see I can't remember the exact name of them okay right here so then you've got these things and you can kind of run them along the wall and remember everybody can do stuff differently kind of what works for you um, they also have like a generator now so then now we can use the cable So you can take your the basic um, four meter cable, and I'm just going to be parallel this way. 
So then now we can have it kind of run here. So it's like it's running through the, um, running from the cable box, right? So then we can place one, and you can do as many as you want, right? I mean, a couple of them. And then one thing that I like, that I saw somebody do the first time, and I was like, okay, that makes sense, is then you can kind of run it from, um, run it this way up here, and you run it basically to the top. So then it's kind of like you're running power to wherever, right? Um, and so I wasn't trying to go off on a tangent there, kind of like before, but that's just one way you can kind of add to the realism of these. I like what you try to do with these pieces here and stuff. But now we've got more capabilities here in, within the game, right? Um, but overall, very nice. I really like the palm trees and stuff here. That's good. So let's go to, you know, let's go back to this one. Um, and let's go ahead and ride this one since we're here. Still broken down. Hmm. All right. Hopefully that'll be, that'll be working by the time... We get done with this. So look at Cobra. This is really well themed. Um, really nice inverted coaster. Love the theming, the rocks, the custom um, custom railings. Um, I think the accidentally deleted a part there. But yeah, really nice. So let's let's ride this ride. All right. So looks like we get testing. Okay, so not too long of a ride, max speed 56, we just got 33, good, so. Looks like your average um, B&M uh, Danglefoot coaster. There we go. That was called Cobra. Um, nice ride. I think there. I think this first area right there need to be smoothed out a little bit more. Um, but it's good. I think this part was maybe a little too fast. Like maybe you could have. Because I don't know if you did these um, as stock pieces or custom, but you could have ex extended them, made them a little bit longer so that it wasn't as quick. But really like this area how you do the uh, zero g roll right over the entrance to the ride i think your layout was good theming was great um i like what you did here very interesting it's like a um i don't know exactly what that's called but very nice what you did there um so yeah overall nice coaster i thought it was fun um i mean the theming's great on this the theming on every one of your rides is great so now let's look at this last one There we go. Nice drop ride. Um, you know, theming, theming all around is good. Man, I really like what you did here. I can definitely take some ideas that you've done and concepts and try to apply that in my own park. And like I said, I really love the roofing on this other ride. Yeah. 
Okay, so you did kind of the diner set there. Looks nice. Get the diner roof, good. All right. So hopefully this ride is back up and running. It's still not. Man, we gotta we gotta get a mechanic out here. So I'm gonna get a mechanic and we're gonna speed it up and. Oh, that's in the. I was trying to place it. There we go. All right. So hopefully this won't take too long. Right, so we're just gonna test it so that we can we don't have to wait for people to hop on the ride. So let's go. Alright, let's do seat view or front bumper. Very nice ride um, with the. I think the that some of the turns could do a little bit more um, smoothing into the bank. But I think the inversions here were great. I mean, this one. I think you just see how this is extended more compared to the previous one, and then this one um, because it's not quite corkscrew. I always forget. Is this the hardline roll or is this one? I think this is more the hard. Yeah, this one's the hardline roll because your heart's supposed to stay in the same place. But. Um, very nice. Interesting doing the launch coaster with the wing coaster. Um, but yeah, I think this was this was my favorite part of a ride that you had in the park. So that was very nice. Um, I love the what you did here with the entrance is just awesome. How you um, so what pieces did you use there? I'm interested. Okay, so you did that makes sense. So very good ride, and I like how you have um, it's kind of the same on both sides where you have a little bit of like a little maintenance area. So it looks nice. You got ride photos. Yeah, we gotta check that out. So ride photos, very nice. Just a memento. Very good job. All right, so that is it. This was called, I forgot the name again. There we go, Fun Ticket Amusement Park. Make sure to go and rate it and download it on the Frontier Workshop. Um, and as always, if you like and enjoy the videos I'm making, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can see whenever I, um, or whenever new videos are posted and I hope you have a great rest of your day.